Good morning. Um, my name is Florence Utachura from the University of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Um, I had prepared a long paper, but then I was given five minutes. I thought the, there'll be, there won't be enough. So I had to give a, a lighting talk on my project proposal on the archiving the database or preparing database, a digital database of the African uh, Tanzanian uh, languages, ethnic languages. And in that, I kind of explore the role of digital space in the 21st century, the importance of having digital space in the 21st century. How do we uh, humanities um, scholars come in and utilize that particular avenue in the digital age? So the rapid growth in the creation of uh, and dissemination of digital texts has emphasized for the secure pre uh, preservation of digital scholarly based information. And we see that most of the documents or scholarly information that are do have been documented are actually phasing out. Some of them are uh, are uh, actually uh, being spoiled in libraries, and some of them are actually being lost, getting lost. But if we have them uh, uh, secured in a digital uh, platform, we have them, I think we are safe, and we could preserve them for future generation. And this is not actually the case in most of African countries in, this, in, the, in, in the sake of uh, preserving languages in the digital uh, digital uh, preservation or digital databases. So I'll go through the linguistic situation of the landscape in Tanzania. The Tanzania has almost 120 ethnic languages. And we're having Swahili as a lingua franca, whereby all those people speaking different ethnic languages would speak Swahili. So we have that kind of um, communication between people speaking different ethnic languages, but they all tend uh, to speak Swahili. They, they speak Swahili, which uh, most of them have been, have acquired Swahili in primary uh, schools. Um, you, we see that researchers tend to study these languages from linguistic, literally, historical, and even philosophical perspective in terms of linguistic they would tend to see the variations between these languages, ethnic languages, but also they, they tend to trace the historical perspective in, in terms of historical linguistics. Historians will also do the same, the philosophical uh, aspects. Uh, we also study these languages and even uh, archaeologists, I would say. However, some tales that have been told by our ancestors, sayings, stories, uh, are starting to disappear because these ancestors are now passing on. Uh, now, the consequences that researchers might uh, actually miss out some data to use, and the even new generation in terms of uh, uh, heritage will miss out of their historical uh, past practices to know. So we need to have these ones well stored. And I thought it is even more important to digitally archive the tales, stories, sayings by ancestors in different ethnic uh, languages in Tanzania uh, as an area that requires uh, a scholarly address. Um, and the project I'm, I'm writing on now is seeks to create the digital database of old stories, tales, sayings of about 120 ethnic languages in Tanzania and archive them in the academic and even public uh, libraries for researchers and public consumption. So that is the idea I'm having here. Thank you very much.